So what I gotta do, find out where this line is. What do you know? Huh. So we're going to check it. Go both ways. Go ahead and pump it right in. Okay, so here's 16 feet. It's uh, this is a total of 32.6, which is not going to work with the lumber I got. And it's just all sorts of good. Hold on there, big dog. That's 16. That's what we're going to do. Is the last 16 also? Yeah. So we can go 3 and an eighth. And there's my laser. And there's my laser. That should be about where I want it. So what we've got here is one of our Midwest perma columns. We're going to anchor that to the concrete. The client did have a pad poured directly under us right here. So it's a thickened slab about 12 inches and some reinforcement with rebar and whatnot. So this will support the weight of the mezzanine here in the middle. And I use that laser to determine straight from his wall over to where our framing stops on the wall. and. Uh, I got a nice spot, so I'm perfect right here, and this can be mounted to the concrete. So I figured to, in order to uh, really highlight the laser, I turn it off and make it easier to see. I'm using a simple line laser to check the dimension from the top of my bracket to a common point, which is in this case, 31 and three quarters. And I come over here to my wall where I have the laser line also here at 31 and 15 16, which is pretty darn close because you gotta remember I got the thickness of the bracket. But really all I want to do is measure top of wall to the laser line, which is 68 5 16 And then I'm going to add my 31 and 3 quarters from that dimension. And that's going to give me the top of this post or column to be exactly level with that guy. And then I'll do the same thing on my wall. 68 and 7 16 So we're about an eighth inch difference uh, from here. 33 feet over there. I think we're gonna have to probably live with that. columns uh, is because this is a true two by six and these brackets we normally get for our Ohio Timberland laminated columns which are actually uh, surface planed on all four sides 
so that they get a nice dimension and they go together really well, which means that our columns, instead of being four and a half, are usually four and a quarter to four and three eighths of an inch. Uh, so these brackets are made at four and three eighths, and I had to just make sure that we got it in there without too much effort. You good there, Zach? other two out until we get everything perfect and then we'll finalize it. done here is I've got the laser shooting a straight line all the way to where this board is on this wall and it's plumbing up to exactly where it should be right here and that's going to give me a perfectly straight line that I can then measure off of each one of these brackets to the laser line on my tape measure and get an exact dimension so that way I don't have to string this or nothing the laser is perfect all the time. Uh, 140 and a 16. 140 and an 8. Wait, wait. Yeah, 140 and an 8. 40 and an uh, 8. Go with 16. So what we ended up doing was we decided to put this string line up here because the laser was bouncing around every time we shake or hit something. Uh, it was good to kind of get our dimensions off of it because it doesn't move as long as we're not hitting anything, so we were able to get all those nice tape measure points on each uh, floor joist. But now we're just basically screwing it here to the header, and then I will put a, uh, a bracket, you know, it's going to mount it after the fact, and then this is going to get another laminated 2 by 12 so that it's easier to go through one ply than to go through two ply. Once we get it screwed tight to this header and he's got the sides of his uh, his bracket good, I can just move it in and out because we cut it just a little shy and I'm basically just going to get it to where this string line is right over top of our joint and then Zach go ahead and finish nailing it. Mounted. Remember, we only screwed them on the outside. Now Zach's going to go through, put hangers on every one of them, and we're going to laminate, glue and laminate another 2x12 on the outside of this header to just stiffen it up, obviously, and add rigidity because I would not just leave it with one 2x12. It would probably hold the weight, but it would bounce and have a, a horrible amount of deflection. <laughs> Thank you. 
Got it? Yep. Here I went ahead and I ran these guys long to the actual, I just left them as 12 footers and I did that because when I run my, my subfloor over the sheets are four foot in dimension and when I run three panels out I don't want to be dying uh, where the joint basically staggers. So these are going to be right on top of these studs and then I'll stagger over for the next set that's going to go from this wall to this wall. That way it's just a nice strong connection here, but then these full 12 footers come out all the way so that my sheeting doesn't have a joint on the tongue and groove right where um, there's nothing at. So if I cut that back, I would probably run into that problem. Concrete must be good. Well, there you go. We got all the floor joists installed. We got the main frame cut up and we just figured out the stair um, stringer, how that's gonna work. We got all that math figured out. So tomorrow we'll come back. We'll start laying out our floor system, which is a tongue and groove OSB sturdy floor. And then go ahead and cut up all of our stringers, start making our treads and risers and put together the stairs. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning, which is gonna be like as soon as I am done with this clip, which is awkward, yeah.
putting my, my top riser on, I'll put the riser in the middle and the riser in the bottom, and then I'll go ahead and stand this up. These will come back off and get glued, but this is just temporary. I find it easier, instead of having a bunch of stringers standing up there like spaghetti noodles, I kind of get them together and then put them in place. It really does go pretty quickly. Now, we snapped a line at four foot off the wall, even though the sheeting is only 47 and 7 eighths. That gives us a little bit of play in case there's any ins and outs. Hopefully there's not more than an eighth. Find out. Should be. We don't have our blocking in this end yet. Okay, I'm gonna get it out, bring it my way. Keep going. Now don't set your whole thing down, just your point. Right, right. Set your point down, slide it my way. Okay. Okay, we should be lined up with our lines. Thank <laughs> you. 
on to our last piece of subfloor. Hey, you did pretty good, but I'm not going to push the luck, okay? Wow. Um, definitely, caulk gun is a game changer. I actually did a video at Tools Day on this caulk gun. So if you really want to, I think it'll be over on one of these sides. I'll go ahead and tag that. So I just wanted to make sure that I showed you guys the, uh, the bracket hangers, the stair bracket angles, whatever you want to call them. But just to add some additional support. Always a good feeling when you're putting that last part to the job and you know that you're finally there and complete. Nice smooth transition. If you look here, I don't know if you can even see this, Greg, but this is what I love about GRKs. When they go in, they don't make a big mess out of the material. They just basically tear it and make a nice, clean uh, recess. So they just really look finished, even though this is a, even though that's a framing screw, they look really nice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, for us, it's, it's a wrap and it's pretty cool because this project was done last year. If you didn't follow along with this project, it is the building a workshop playlist and it was built last year during some of the coldest weather we've ever worked in, but we persevered, everything turned out great and looks like the client is moving into this quite well and is enjoying it a lot, he said, and he can't wait. Uh, he can't wait to get all this finished and utilize it fully. So he's gonna have like a full metal shop in the back. I'm going to get out of here and uh, go home. So see you guys in the next one. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I like that. What do you think about that one? It's clean. Huh? That's clean. <laughs>